So we'll start by assuming this that any economy would have to save a certain proportion of income. Even if it is just using its capital um, and to just replace the one off capital, you need certain amount of savings, right? But you know, can you just grow with replacing one off capital? No. In order for you to grow, you need to have more investments. You need to have additions to the capital stock. So new investments means additions to the capital stock. Now, if you will have additions to the capital stock, then only your economy can grow. One thing. Second thing, supposedly there is some kind of direct relationship between the additions to the capital stock and increase in GDP. Right? So, for example, um, there is some kind of direct relationship, capital stock and GDP. So, you mean what? So, for example, uh, it, it would mean this, that uh, your book gives an example like this, that if there is a $3 increase in investment, your GDP is going to increase by $1. Right? So, it means that if there is an increase in investment, rest assured, your GDP is going to grow. It means economy is going to grow, right? So what are the two things which we have learned? One, economy may start saving just to replace its one-out capital, but it cannot grow just by replacing the one-out capital. Second thing, you need additions to the capital stock. Additions to the capital stock means investments. Third thing, there should be some kind of relation. There is some direct relationship between the additions to the capital stock and GDP. So if capital stock is increasing, GDP is going to increase, right? This relationship could be shown by capital output ratio. So by capital output ratio would mean, for example, 3 is to 1. Let's say I'm just giving an example. 3 is to 1. That is 3 units of capital are required to produce 1 unit of output, right? So this is capital output. Now assume that small s is the savings rate. So what is the capital S that is total savings in the economy? Of the total income, you are saving smallest proportion. So, capital S is uh, smallest into Y. Hmm? What is What are the additions to the capital stock? Delta K. That is equal to investment. So, investment is delta K equals to Y. But what is it that you have said? You have said that the capital output ratio is let's say small k right if this is true then this is also true delta k by delta y is also equal to small k the ratio is okay so i can write delta k as small k delta y right okay but delta k is equal to investment and delta k is equal to small k delta y. So investment is equal to this. I should not be writing this. I should be. Delta k. Yeah. yeah. But savings is equal to investment. So that would mean what? Small s into y is equal to small k into delta y. I am again and again writing delta small y it is delta capital. And this would mean that I can write delta y upon y as what? Delta y upon y as what? Small s upon small k small s upon small k. So if you look at it carefully, this is the change in y. Change in y upon y. That means what? There's a growth rate in y or growth rate in output, growth rate in GDP, economy is growth rate, which is equal to savings rate upon capital output ratio. So according to Harrod Dover model, if we want to find out what is the growth rate of the economy that is given by savings rate upon capital output. So it means what? That I can I mean, this is what my growth rate is. So that growth rate is positively related with the savings ratio. 
it means higher the savings ratio, higher is the growth rate in the economy, right? Higher, higher is the savings ratio, higher is the growth rate in the economy, right? And higher is the capital output ratio, lower is the same, lower is the growth rate in the economy. If you need to use more capital in order to produce a given level of output, it means uh, growth rate in the economy is going to be less, right? So please write this. Higher, higher is the growth rate, higher is the capital output ratio, lower is the growth rate of an economy. If you need to use more capital in order to produce a given level of output, then growth rate of economy is going to be less. Productivity is less in this economy. You have to use more capital in order to produce a given level of output. This is not what you require. And higher is the savings rate, higher is the growth rate in the economy. Some books, they also write this particular formula is this. That is delta y upon y is equal to gross savings rate upon small k, which is capital output ratio, minus delta, which is the depreciation rate, right? Minus delta, which is the depreciation rate. So uh, this is also one of the way in which you write uh, the growth rate in Harrod Dorman. Now, this small k was what? Delta k by delta y. This is the way you have written, right? That is k by y or delta k by delta y. Now, I can also write 1 upon k. That would be delta y upon delta k. So, if you look at it carefully, this delta k is nothing but the investment. So, we are asking here, this 1 upon k, this reciprocal of the capital output ratio is telling me how much additional output you can have from a unit of investment. Right? How much additional output from a unit of investment. This is what 1 upon k is. This is... Uh, uh, reciprocal of the capital output ratio. This is telling you this, right? How much in from the unit of investment, what is the additional output you can? So what is the rate of new investment? That is capital I upon capital Y, right? Now this should be equal to capital S upon Y because in equilibrium, capital S is equal to Y. This is equal to savings rate, right? Now if you multiply, so this is also the rate of new investment, rate of new investment, right? Now, this rate of new investment which you have, in case if you're going to multiply this with 1 upon k, what will you have? Huh? So, you will have what? 1 upon k is what? Delta y upon i, because delta k is nothing but this thing. So this is also the growth rate. This is also the growth rate, growth rate of output, growth rate of GDP. Uh, so if you multiply the rate of new investment by the productivity parameter, right? This is the rate of productivity. This guy is the rate of productivity. You multiply this with the uh, uh, I by Y, that is the rate of new investment, then also we'll also get the growth. Right? So this is what we have done in the Harrod Dorman model. It's a, it's a simple model. Uh, so the main equation, main equation of uh, Harrod Dorman model is this guy. Your delta Y by Y is equal to small s upon small k where small s is the savings rate. Delta y upon y is the rate of growth of output. And this, they say this, that higher is the savings rate, higher is the growth rate in the economy. While in case if the capital output ratio, if small k is going to be more, uh, then the rate of growth of an economy will fall. Why? Because your productivity is less if small k is more. You need more capital to produce a unit of output. So it means the productivity is less. So higher K is going to lead to lower growth rate in the economy, while higher S is going to lead to higher growth rate in the economy. Right? Thank you, madam.